Hey everybody. Uh, so, with everything that's been going on uh, this week with TSA approved uh, padlocks, I thought uh, we'd take a look at a couple more uh, that I recently acquired. So this is uh, a, a different master lock from the one I showed you previously. This one is not a combination lock, it's a standard keyed padlock. key if I can get some focus here. Pretty simple, not very radical bidding, and obviously because of its size, there's not a ton of room in there. Now this is the same uh, TSA 007 keyway that uh, these Conair padlocks had, and it's one of the more common ones, I think, at least that I've come across. And this time around, we're going to use a uh, Peterson pry bar light, and we're just going to slide it into the center of the keyway position. Uh, this lock opens uh, clockwise, and you know what? Just for a change of pace, let's see if we can single pin pick this. Uh, so we're going to get our hook out, feel around, and I think that was pin one. Still hunting around, okay. And look at that. Two pins and it's open. So, seriously, why, why use a key? This other one is the Safe Skies padlock. Uh, these are the competitors to the Travel Sentry uh, mechanisms. You can tell uh, Travel Sentry because they have this little sort of red diamond logo, and Safe Skies is the red and white torch. Uh, now they say, let's see, the special luggage locks that airport security will not clip. Well, it's not exactly true. Plenty of people have complained about airports clipping even their TSA approved locks, because sometimes the screeners are just too damn lazy to even use their special master override keys. Alright, let's get this guy out. Brand new out of the box. Now this one has the Safe Skies keyway, which is uh, different from all of the Travel Sentry ones. Come on, focus buddy. There we go. Uh, but you can see it looks kind of like a tiny master lock keyway. Um, and again, we're going to try doing this with the uh, pry bar here. And now this happens to be a wafer mechanism because I've uh, dealt with one of these before. Okay, we've got one set. Keep reaching around in there. Sounds like two. And just need one more. Now oh, that's it tip of the tension tool. And we're hitting the back of the... There we go. Now this one uh, is kind of cool compared to the others that I've shown you where they just have a little rotating collar with a notch uh, cut in it. Like right there. This one, uh, as you turn the plug, it actually withdraws the collar inward and allows the the shackle to swing out of the way. Now of course I did turn it a bit too far, so in order to get it relocked, you're going to have to pick it again. But hey, no big deal, right? Did it once, we'll do it again. This time, let's see if we can rake it. Oh, even faster this time. Let's just make sure that... There we go. And now it's locked up, and we don't know if uh, anyone's been in here, here or not. So, until next time, stay safe and happy picking.